Next, interns at Facebook and Amazon and Google are getting paid more than the average American. Whoa, crazy. You're telling me companies that employ some of the most smartest and capable people within their particular niche are then paying people across the board higher than regular jobs out there? No way. Come on, sometimes these headlines, it's like, what do you expect? Of course they'd get paid a lot more than I mean, just like, you know, they're highly comfortable jobs. Hasn't Google got, has, doesn't Google have the, one of the most strenuous um uh, application processes out there in the job market i'm pretty sure i read that in my book as well like it's a crazy crazy process to even get an internship so i'm not surprised that if they come on if you make me jump through that many hoops to get an internship you better pay me well or the experience better be like you know tenfold what i get anywhere else because i think that's also part of the the thing that people don't take into account if you're working at facebook amazon or google that experience being an intern even if you don't get hired there is probably worth a lot more than working at some you know god awful startup that no one has any knowledge of right that google facebook and amazon uh stamp on your cv can go a long long way especially in silicon valley land but let's read the article anyway um glassdoor says in a in a report shared today the highest paid interns are placed on a table and coming in number one is facebook who offers up a medium monthly salary of eight thousand dollars but again if you're working at facebook as an intern i don't know where the offices are based but i guess the cost of living there is going to be quite high so even if it's eight thousand dollars a month it's still not it's probably still it still doesn't come close to kind of you know ensuring that you have a good um, standard of living but again like i said if i'm an if i'm a kid and i have the means and i can go over to facebook and i can give them a year or a year and a half of my life on an internship it's worth whatever they give me if they even if they paid me a hundred dollars a month a thousand dollars a month i take i'd snap their arm off man that experience is is invaluable uh coming in second is amazon who pays its interns a medium monthly salary of seven thousand seven hundred and twenty five um uh, followed by Salesforce, again, really niche uh, services and products, you know, that if you're an expert of it at that level, then you should get paid that much. You get paid 7,667. Uh, rounding out top five are Google at 7,500 and Microsoft at 7,250. But again, if you went to intern for these places and they were giving you, and they're only paying you $900 a month, you would be a little bit, you know, your face will be a little bit out, put out of place, you know? It should make sense that a place as, you know, comfortable as these places will be charging these kind of rates to, first of all, to attract the talent and also you get the best talent to pick from and also, you know, for the people that are working there, there's an incentive to work there and do the best work possible. So again, I don't really think it's that big of a deal. I think if I was a kid now, oof, I'd be I'd be literally biting over tooth and claw to try and get an internship there. I wouldn't care about Nike, Adidas, all these kind of cool places. I'd be going where the fucking, where the future lies. Facebook, Amazon, and Google. Put your politics to the side, you know, forget about the privacy stuff, whatever, blah, blah, the politics. Just to get an experience of working in those companies that are going to obviously, you know, uh, lay the foundation for what the future is. And again, you don't need to work there just to kind of get the experience so you can then set up your own little mini shop, whatever it may be, or agency it will be invaluable. So here they are, the top, Again, uh, most of the most of the ties, most of the places that pay the best for interns are the places that everyone wants to work at, right? Boeing, Delhi, KPMG, Cisco, uh, Intel, Visa, Goldman and Sachs, JP Morgan, Pay Media. Again, all these places though, most of their corporate offices are in places that you know the cost of living is super high. So it's not like you're. It's not like you're, you know, you're paying nine hundred dollars for a studio apartment and you're pocketing the rest of the salary. A lot of that money is going just to kind of live and to kind of get about, get around town, Uber, all these sort of places. But yeah, really, really cool. Highest paying entry level jobs, uh, business analyst. Okay, this is a cool little list there. Data scientist at ninety five entry level. That's also, I guess, all these lists of of entry level jobs should be the ones that kids should be aiming to try and get degrees in, for the most part, right? Um, number one, data scientist at ninety five thousand a year. Software engineer, ninety thousand a year. Product manager, eighty now. I see a lot of those jobs everywhere. I wonder what product manager actually does day to day. I would actually like to learn how to do that um, myself, uh, for j just for the sake of it. Investment banking analyst gets eighty five grand, which explains why uh, probably um, Black China was willing to fake that she got into Harvard. Uh, product designer gets eighty five thousand, which again, which could mean you know product design. Um, on both ends what I kind of studied in school and what's going on now with apps and stuff UX designer 73,000 implement implementation consultant 72 Java developer 72 systems engineer 70 software developer 68 process engineer 68 wow 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 electrical engineer 66 again loads of really cool amazing uh, jobs which I'm sure if the you know Oh, no, no, I'm not going to get into that debate. But yeah, I recommend you check that out. Um, list of all the great places doing amazing things out there, um, paying their interns a high, high wage. 
So yeah, again, I I I I do it in a heartbeat, man. If I was a kid and I wanted to get that experience, even now, if I felt like I was really heading to a roadblock, I would. Re- I'll, if I if I had the money and I could afford to, I'd definitely give up half of my. I'd definitely give up a year or so to kind of work in these kind of places for you know just for the bare minimum, just to get the experience. But what do 